Okay, so just to be clear, this is the one you want to go with. You go to prison for two years, your friends go free, and no crying about it once it's done. One stipulation. I'm not reducing your jail time by one minute. That's not it. I want you to write in that once we sign, you can't renegotiate with Harvey. I get it. You're afraid I'm going to use this to get him to take the bullet for you. I'm not afraid of you trying to do that because I know you will. So either put it in or we go to verdict. And just remember, like you said to me, tick-tock. What did you do? I did what I had to do. I pled guilty. Bullshit. You didn't plead anything. Harvey, look at me. It was my crime, it was my choice to make, and I made it. It's done. Well, I'm gonna unmake it, because the judge hasn't ratified it yet. Until she does, nothing's done. Harvey, stop. No, you listen to me. If you think I'm gonna let you do this, you're out of your goddamn mind. Do what, Mike? What did you do? I took the two years. No. No, you didn't. I don't accept that. Please, listen, it was the only way that I could No, it wasn't the only way. You told me that you'd wait for the verdict and I begged you to have faith in yourself and you told that me that you would. before I begged Diaz to take a deal that would rat out his friend and he didn't listen well, to wait me. Wait a second, you're I throwing would... away the next two years of our lives for something that some criminal Stop, said? listen to me. Hold on, Harvey said he wasn't going to let this happen. He went to go see the judge, didn't he? It doesn't matter. He can't stop it. Why not? Because it's not up to him, it's up to me and I've made my decision. <sighs> Rachel, where are you going? Anywhere else. Because if you're going to rob us of the next two years of our lives, I am not going to stand here and watch you do it. Miss Gibbs, I don't appreciate being kept waiting once the jury's informed us they've reached a verdict. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Mr. Ross and I were finalizing a plea agreement. I'm sorry, too, Your Honor, but they haven't finalized shit. What did you just say in my courtroom? You heard what I said. My chambers, right now. Rachel, I heard the jury was back. I came down to hear the verdict. There's not going to be a verdict. You can turn right around because Mike took a deal to spend two years in prison. Oh, my God. And they're in there right now signing off on it. And I don't know what to do. Okay. I'll tell you what you need to do. You need to go back inside and you need to be there for him. I'm not going to go back inside and be there for him. Why not? Because he told me that he wasn't going to do this. He told me that it was on the table. And I begged him not to take it. And he promised me that he wouldn't. Rachel, last night Harvey came to me wanting to do the same thing, and I begged him to have faith in that jury. And Harvey kept his word. But he might not have. And I told myself that if he changed his mind, I would have to forgive him. Then Donna, you're a better woman than I am. Because Mike is my heart. And right now I feel like someone is ripping my heart out of my chest, and that someone, that someone's him. Your Honor, I don't give a shit about that deal. She took advantage of my client. She coerced him, and you have the power to stop it. I have had enough of your language, Mr. Spector. It wasn't coercion. It was negotiated by a competent attorney. It's rock solid, and there's no basis to stop it. He's not a competent attorney. He's cutting a deal to plead guilty to fraud. You want to cut a different deal with me? I'm all ears. Yeah, the only problem with that is you can't sign a different deal because you already signed your rights to that away. God damn it, Mike. Don't do this. We can go to verdict. Don't give me that. You weren't racing over to her office to tell her that the jury was back. You're going to jump on the grenade and I beat you to it. Now, I told you it's done. And it's done. Are you absolutely sure, Mr. Ross? I am, Your Honor. Then, Mr. Ross, you have 72 hours to report to Danbury Federal Prison. 